Hey there, hey folks. folks. Welcome to a super hairy edition of Stu's Game Reviews live stream. <laughs> Trying to see if we can finish this Academy game. Uh, rocking this nice beer today. Just a temporary thing. Don't get too used to it. Uh, let me know if the audio is okay if you're able to hear this. Like, it looks like my levels of my mic are like going off the chart here, but... I need to move the mic a little further away or something. I'm not sure, but let me know if it sounds okay. Uh, and the audio of the game should be hopefully not too bad either. Let's get this thing started and see where we go. Again, I get this weird stuff here going on. Since there's three viewers on, now it's zero. So I'm not sure what that means, but I like to think it's just a problem with uh, with YouTube. I don't see how three people would join and they'd be like, I'm out of here, this sucks, I'm gone. They wouldn't even like it too, so like, if you like something, why would you just drop off? I don't know. I don't get this at all. But anyway, welcome to whoever's watching right now, and uh, let's get into the game. Hopefully it won't start dropping frames like it did last time. If it does, I may have to make some adjustments. Well, that was weird. What was that? Got some static in my. Are you guys hearing static? I'm not sure if it's just. What the hell is that? Oh, Scott's is hearing echo. Okay, thank you, Scott. Let me fix that. Let me know I'm hearing static also. Hang on. Echoing and they're static. Alright, one second. I didn't want to fix the echo. Because we had that left problem last time. All right, that should take care of the echo. I think it took care of the static also. How's it sound now? Hey, Scott. Hey, Colton Northern. By the way. Oh, wait, I heard static again. Where the hell is that coming from? I think Gabe is doing that, but I'm not sure. Echoey and static you still? <laughs> we have a serious talk about your looks. Yeah, the static came back. I noticed that, too. I don't know where the static is coming from. It stopped again. Alright, maybe... Hopefully it'll, it'll be gone, but I feel like it came from the game somewhere. Right now it's not there. But if it comes back again, I'll try to address it. I don't remember what's going on anymore. Alright, another class it looks like to go to. Stew with a beard. Where is not hey, Jeremy? <laughs> Where is not alternate reality stew? I uh, this is the mirror universe actually today. So you guys have crossed over through a transporter accident into the mirror universe, and this is I'm mirror universe stew. So I'm actually evil stew. Um, and you know, hopefully we'll get back out of the mirror universe in time for the next stream. For the last time this year. All right, that's good. Hopefully it's the last time this game too. Blah, 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 Another quiz. Uh, I don't even know how to pick anymore. Oh, uh, whoops, I picked, <laughs> that's not how you do it. <laughs> Sorry, I got it wrong. I wish the end of this game was to be like, you got like an F on your classes, even though you saved the whole world. But I'm not sure I care. Did he go crazy or something? You know, Kaku? That could be an interesting word, um, kaku, crazy for something, I'm not sure, but uh, I don't think that's actually the word they meant to write there. <laughs> kaku? <laughs> uh, I guess maybe that was the word he meant they meant to write. <laughs> Clearly desperate for a chance for united with his love. I need a new puzzle to solve, you focus solely on this unsolvable one. Da 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 la la la. All right, one last question. Uh, false. It was true, in fact. Oh well. Oops, I probably should have known that from the previous game. A mosquito flew into my. Oh, they're all crying about that. That's so sad. One of them said, "Don't tear up in class," and he's like, "A mosquito flew into my eye." Excuse for a second. It's sad because. They were, he was buried next to his wife. It's so sad. Like, my gosh. You never experienced death ever, Cornelius? Jeremy says, I'm crazy for Kaku. <laughs> <It> says. <laughs> Go on. 
<laughs> oh man. Oh, we have another puzzle. Yay. Arbor Tech. Arbor Tech said it's one of their recently published research papers. There appears to be an error in the bar chart. Can you find it? Yeah, there's no like legend of the bar chart. That's a problem. How much to know what that means? Um What's the error? Oh, you mean like the fact that like this one is not consistent here? I mean look it. I don't know what the hell that means. That's kinda of an error. Maybe this one is too short? I I guess I'm assuming they're saying this one's too short, but like you know, data can sometimes be like different. I, I don't know if that's an error. Wow. That's not a mistake, I'm sorry. I mean, like, it could be, but whatever. Try to figure out the missing label of the third pie chart. Um, well, like, these pie charts don't make any sense. Like, 500 is bigger than 1225. This looks like Pac-Man, this one over here. This one looks like Pac-Man, like, with, like, severely trying to eat a ghost, but failing. And this one looks like maybe Pac-Man and a ghost getting it on, I'm not sure. But it, I, I have no idea what the numbers are supposed to be. Okay, let's see. Um, maybe I do know what the numbers are supposed to be. Maybe I can figure it out. But I'm not sure how. Uh, let's see. 305, 115, 500, and 1225. Oh, I got some choices here, which helps. <clears throat> Anybody have any clue what this is? Uh, maybe it's like something in between 305 and 500 no that can't be there's nothing else even in between that any of the choices I have a rock hard clue Scott says I bet you do I'd like to know about your rock hard clue I mean, I'm not sure if I do actually want to know about your rock hard clue uh, what could this possibly be here? Any any ideas, anybody? Any ideas whatsoever? Where's all the smart people today? Colton Northern. <laughs> What's the answer, Colton Northern? Uh, I'm completely at a loss. I have no freaking clue. No idea whatsoever right now. This just doesn't make any sense to me at all. Jeremy says, speaking of Harry Potter, which is definitely isn't a ripoff of, I show you how the first Harry Potter movie were Easter. <laughs> she was annoyed that we wasn't 20 minutes long. I mean, she expected to be 20 minutes long? Because that's a, I don't really get that. I mean, I, I can understand her being annoyed, but, like, why would she expect it to be so short? Uh, these buying charts don't make any sense. I'm just going to guess. Unless somebody has a better idea. We're to guess 820. Yeah, 820, is that good? Remember like 820? Oh my god, I'm amazing! <laughs> if you look at the pie charts as clocks and labels as time, it starts to make sense. What kind of research is I don't know what the hell that means, but okay, whatever, I got it right, so that's all that matters. Guessing is having my life, way through life, Steve Scott says. Look at me now. I'm ready for finals for sure. All right, great. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, loser. Quest completed, history class. You know, they should make all school like this, you know, where it's like, you go to like some dumb class and it's like, you get like an achievement. Achievement unlocked, dumb class, you know, passed, or dumb class taken. Maybe more kids would actually go to class if they had like, you know, achievements and stuff. Achievement unlocked. History class taken. She complains that movies are longer than half hours for watching movies there. I, I don't have patience to sit through, like, movies either, to be honest. Like, I, I mean, I... I will do it, but, like, I don't... Usually, if, if this movie's really good, after, like, 45 minutes to an hour, I'm ready to, like, turn... I wish I could, like, turn off and wait till tomorrow to watch the next part. Puzzles are by my humanity, Stu. Jeremy says, I've achieved a higher plane of existence. Ooh, cookie crumb. I should be really quiet today, the teacher says. Alright, that's fine with me. Don't ask me any dumb questions, and I'll be quiet. But of course, she's going to ask me a stupid question. 
I knew it. I don't know. All right, good. I got it right this time. So, who knows their names? That's not the names. Red crisscross, three-sided yin yang. What does it mean? The tree of life symbol. Knowledge. All right. That was actually that was possible to guess. Look, give me a puzzle. Give me a puzzle. They're talking about resurrection and rebirth. Maybe like these people are to come back to life. These uh, people have made this dumb school. I don't think coming back from the afterlife is something you'd brag about at parties. Well, I mean, I would certainly brag about it at parties. <laughs> I don't know about you. <laughs> Scott says my uncle three sided gang gang would disagree. <laughs> All right, let's have a puzzle. Mysterious symbols. Which of these symbols requires the most strokes to draw? Scott, you're the expert at strokes, right? You, you should know this one. Keep in mind that a stroke doesn't have to be a straight line. So it's like anything where you're like, if you retrace your steps or whatever. I mean, I would guess this one here because it has the most endpoints. I'm going to guess. Some Clex Jedi stroke maneuvers here. Yay! Bonus question. That single large piece of paper displays a set of four symbols. Choose one of the symbols on the smaller paper to be the fifth symbol in the set. I mean, I would guess... So this is like one, two, three, four, right? So one that has like five, that'll be like this one. Again. Do 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 do. Woohoo! I defeated the class. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> the jar of you undoubtedly fail. That's so helpful. Thank you, Professor. You're such a nice professor. I can't look for I look forward to failing your dumb class. Maybe I'll get kicked out of this dumb school too. Okay, let's go in here now. The blue the blue triangle is telling me to go the blue diamond is telling me to go in here. It's where it's my lucky charms are. Right? Pink hearts. What's what does it go again? <laughs> is it yellow diamonds? Pink hearts, orange stars. I'm forgetting now. I'm embarrassed if you gave this commercial. Oh, it's gym class. Pink hearts, yellow moons, orange stars, green diamonds. No, it's, damn it. Green clovers. Pink hearts, orange stars, yellow moons, green clovers, blue diamonds, purple horseshoes, and red balloons. Well, the purple horseshoes were added when I was a kid. It's where the red balloons. Uh, I don't know. No. Left, right, left. What is this? Like a, uh, right. Is there a sequel to this? The Academy to the second riddle? I'm sure they intended to make a sequel, but this game only came out recently, so I assume that it depends on how well it sells. And then, like... I mean, I paid way more for this game than I should have. I think I paid, like, 10 bucks for it. And, uh... It's more than I... Ooh, which is interesting. Which do you prefer, fight or flight? I prefer fight. Fight is correct. <laughs> is that like a matter of personal choice? Let's see. What's the what's the puzzle? The important part of combat and self defense is being able to detect unusual things in your environment. So, which one of these fires stands out to you? Well, <laughs> this guy's the one stands out to me. I don't know if that's the right answer, but I don't know what the hell he's doing. I think he's supposed to be doing a split, but his hands are an interesting spot. And it sort of looks like, I don't know what he's doing there. I mean, that one sort of stands out to me, but I mean, that's not the right answer. This guy's just doing nothing. That's interesting, too. Um, this guy's hat is not on properly. Or he's wearing a, he's wearing a hat. Kung Fu Paul Crap. <laughs> this is, yeah, I, maybe this guy, because his, his hat's not on. He's not, he doesn't have, like, a thing tied in the back. He has, like... Looks like a baseball cap. I'm going to pick him, but... I mean, there's a lot of possible answers. 
That's right, apparently, because we're wearing a hat. All right, whatever. Bonus question. The worlds are painted on a scroll of civic order, but two are in the wrong place. Can you find which two? Um, probably not. Like, how am I supposed to know? I mean, these two are basically in the same pose, except one's wearing a hat, one's not. These two are kicking. There's only there's only two people that are kick at least three okay, three people kicking. Hmm. This looks like in the middle. It's like this this dude's in the middle, and the two people like attack you know, slicing him from either side. There's not really a middle, is there? There's twelve spots. Try the hat dudes. There's only one hat dude. Oh, I mean the two people. These guys. I don't. I don't think so. I think it's something with the pose. But maybe I'm wrong. Let's see here. Punching. I always feel like it's this punching guy. There's a punching guy at the end, too. Maybe that's wrong, though. I don't know. That's what my gut tells me, but nothing about this puzzle really makes sense. And this is not something you can guess, by the way. The multiple choice is not going to help. Um, because nobody like looks similar to these kicking guys, really. I don't know. I have no idea, honestly. I feel that's wrong. Yeah, I feel like. Can I tell which two? And I have no help, right? It's left zero. I don't know why I got like chocolate at the beginning of the game. They made me think like I was gonna get tons of chocolate, and this is the only time that chocolate ever showed up was right in the beginning. Uh, I don't know if I'm able to like bluff my way past this one. Punching, elbowing, standing. Maybe this guy's in the wrong place because he should be at the beginning of the scroll because he's not doing anything. He's just standing there, just like the guy at the end. He's out of place. I mean, this is the other one. I don't know, I'm getting really, this is really tenuous here. <sighs> Ooh. I'm starting to like feel very depressed now and like, you know, losing my self-esteem. What did I pick the first time? I picked this, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Wait, it's these two guys. Colton Orin says with the left two on the yellow side. These two? Nope. We're going to fail this class, I think. I think the guy stands through the meditation pose. Yeah, that's what I would think too. That's why I thought this guy's out of place. And he might be one of them. Are you one of these kicking guys? Mm 
I don't know. Pretty sure I'm gonna be flunked out of this class. I can, I can exit this, I guess, right? <laughs> can I exit this? I don't wanna even try this harder problem, but. It's not the paintbrush icon? Oh yeah, you want to put the paintbrush icon? Woohoo! Isn't this fun? What's the point of this? I have no idea. But apparently it's something I'm able to do in this game. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Jeremy's like, why is that even there? I don't know. Doesn't make any sense to me. That's much easier to solve the problem, though, right? <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Do the meditating guy the stretching guy? When you say the stretching guy, you mean the man-spreading guy? That guy? Oh no! Three out of ten! But maybe it's the two guys with the swords. <laughs> I'm just guessing now completely. Oh! I never got this bad marks in my life! What am I gonna do? I think this guy's out of place because he's like pointing the freaking the wrong way. Or maybe it's this guy that's out of place. Yeah, this guy. <coughs> how low can you go? Limbo, how low can you go? Try again. Oh, wait, how, oh wow, so let me try again? It's going to be negative 1 out of 10 now? I could just probably exit and give up. Can you imagine there's an actual class? Get such random guys running kung fu out of this old film I dug in my closet in the incorrect area. Can I just leave it? Hold on, let's see. Yeah, I could just abandon the puzzle. Which is what I decided to do. He said, I want you to I want you to tackle the finals just like you did this assignment. Sounds good. I guess I'll fail the final also. Sheesh. All right. Well, that was fairly that was riveting. I guess we'll never know what the answer to that was, but I'm not staying here my whole life trying to figure it out either. If I get more chocolate bars, it would be nice. I bet you there are. I bet you somewhere in this place there are chocolate bars. You just gotta like find them, and I'm not gonna search the entire freaking place either. All right, where am I going now? Up the stairs. Up the other stairs. I've tried to go outside here a bunch of times. To see if there were more chocolate, and there never was any. This is where the chocolate was in the beginning. It was like right here. You think like one of these dudes? What's this? Defense class? Are you willing, able to take part in the self-defense class? This is not something which I. This is not one of my quest things. Vending machine. It was a vending machine. I don't know. Should I do this? What do you guys think? Should I do this, or should I say like the hell with it? Just no. I'll let the chat decide. You gluttons for punishment. Don't do it. Snape will appear and slap you. I think this guy is Snape. Soldier, are you really willing and able to take part in the self-defense class? Scott says do it. All right. Scott, you're you to the army. Choose your adversary. Private Ramona, sound off. Oh, whoops. I don't know what I picked. Oh, damn. I wanted to pick Ramona. Book? Fists? Quit? Let's say fists. Maybe not the wisest one. 
How do I fight him? Hey, what the hell? I didn't even get to do anything. Actually, I can't. A white. He won't let me pick fist now. Oh, jeez. So stupid. Oh my god. Alright, whatever. Self defense is a puzzle? That's so boring. Alright, at least I can do a puzzle. You chose brains over brawn with your dude with corn. Cornelius' nickname is Corn. In this game, the two of you are to take turns removing any number of cards that belong to the same suit. <coughs> okay. Whoever removes the last card wins the duel. How many cards in which suit should you Garrett, remove to guarantee that you eventually win? Um, I would say two diamonds. That's right. Oh, bonus question, sure. Oh, I got a strange fragment. Fortunately, one of these cards is a factory error. Let's see how good your eyesight really is. Which card has the error? It's the six, because this should be upside down nine. But it's not... Right? I got another strange fragment. That's well, the same strange fragment. I Maybe mean, I should be doing these side quests to get strange fragments? I don't know what they're for. You know, that isn't fair, I agree. Like, it's crap. Why can't I fight him? Like, I'm such a wimp. But like, I just learned something here. There is some other stuff to do in this place. If I would just explore, and maybe I can find some stuff too. Like maybe, maybe over here, new store. Maybe they have like chocolate over here. Sorry, kid. Talk right now. You stupid moron. Can I take a soak? Sock? Soak? Sock? Whatever the hell that is. Uh, this game really sucks. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Alright, whatever. Excellent vector. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, you go over the, this... <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk with you. Oh, that's really helpful. The garden pub. Ah, whatever. I don't know where these stupid things are. Alright, so I got a, I got a mysterious fragment of something. <laughs> Jeremy says, next retail job I get, I plan to use that line. Yeah, what the heck? West Wing under renovation. Yeah, I think that they plan to do a second game, but, like, only if they actually make money on this game. And, and, and like, if this is a real serious game, it'd probably be... What was that on the floor? Oh, the can? If, was a real, if this is a real serious game, it would probably be more um, longer, I'm guessing. <laughs> I guess it's time to go to sleep in the middle of the day again. Oh, man. Is something going to happen now? Maybe something could actually happen. Far too many puzzles. Well, I mean, I like the puzzles. That's the point of the game, theoretically, but... Oh, my closet. Open it. That's my closet. That's it? That's my closet? That's all I could do is say that's my closet? Wow, what's the point of that? I was trying to see if I missed anything, but, like... Like, there's, like... I thought maybe I have some chocolate somewhere. Oh, this is all the mysterious objects we found. Oh my goodness. It feels like in your face puzzles. Well, it is. I mean, because like the teachers seem to think they seem to think every like homework problem is a puzzle of some kind. I have ordered Chinese food. <laughs> Steve's reviews and it makes me hungry. Yeah, what's up with that? You always seem to like eating while during the stream. How do I get down there? Mongolian beef, pork lo mein, and walnuts. So, I don't you're making me hungry too now, actually. But it's like, it's, it's much later here than it is there. It's 11 o'clock, and I can't order any food at this point. I mean, I probably, there's probably a couple places open that I can go out to, but... Oh, wait a second. I think I went the wrong way. Maybe not. I guess we're in the library. What's this? Oh, there's something going down here. Sam, Sam, over here! I'm in jail! 
I read too many dumb books. Lock up, look up next to Maya. Surprise, surprise. One of those things. Keep calm and bail it out of here. I want you to go upstairs to section 10. Grab the book called Trinity Years of the Academy Library. Okay. Is there going to be a blue thing? Tell me which way to go. That'll be helpful. Thanks, blue man. Thanks, blue icon. That's so cool. Which way was to go? There's stairs here. Here we go. Those blue things are so helpful. Look, you have to find it. The librarian can't help you, but luckily the blue diamond will be there. That will be able to help you. Section 10. You just ate yourself, Jeremy? That's not healthy. Don't eat yourself. Messy bookshelf. I'm just kidding. I used to have sausages, potatoes, and a blueberry smoothie. This bookshelf is rather disorganized. Yet one of its shelves is in perfect order. Which shelf? I guess the last one, because they're all like... Looks like like arranged by height. And that's a very stupid way to organize books. Doo -doo -doo. It's pleasing to look at. You know, it's more pleasing than the fact that there's like hardly any books there. There's nothing like this is a great library with like like there's a shelf that can handle like a hundred books. And they have sixteen. You should tidy up this bookshelf. Books can be ordered as you wish, but the order must be identical for each shelf. If swapping two books counts as one move, how many do you need to fulfill your task? Ugh, I hate this problem. Make as few as possible. Uh, I don't know. I mean, these two are pretty much the same, except there's just there's just one book off, so that probably looks like that looks right right way to go. I think. Four? Quilted Northern says four. Alright, I'm just going to go with Quilted Northern because Quilted Northern probably figured it out already. Now Quilted Northern says, oh baby, five. <laughs> Quilted Northern is not good. Alright, let me. not going to try to solve it myself. Alright, so one over here. Um, this one would require... Three, I think. No, it can't be three. Two, it, at most two. Anything would require at most two. So one, two. That's why you said five, isn't it? Jennifer says six. All right. Hey, Jennifer. We'll go with Jennifer. <laughs> you guys are disappointing me. All right. Now, I am pretty confident the answer is going to be seven. I'm going to bet the answer is seven. All right, we all suck. <laughs> it's only two or three, apparently. <laughs> Scott also said seven. How can it be only two or three? All right, I'm going to say three. <laughs> oh, the book's only to be a certain order, not a certain position. Ah, uh, that's interesting. Okay, that's probably what you all got it wrong. But I didn't, even, I didn't even try, honestly. I just figured it has to be more than what you guys said. Alright, well, that's fine. That makes no sense. Yeah, whatever. This is a two three. How come it looks like there's so many more books in this view than the puzzle view? <coughs> I got the book. Let's go back to... What's his name? Dom. Ron. Dom? You have to help me, Dom. Which I talked to, what's her name, Maya? Nah, screw Maya. Did you get the book from Section 10? Yeah, I got it. Listen to this. The first two years of existence, the library is a prison. Okay. The warden Stern Coster was due to the academy. So I was looking at... Quilter Northern disputes the puzzle. Alright, we'll take it under advisement, Quilter Northern. I have it, I'll write this down that you are under protest for that puzzle. So officers located in the very same room as the professor's lounge. Ooh, it matches the legend of a safe hidden behind his portrait. One of the key a master key for all the prison's mechanisms. Get the key from the safe. It should lower the object so you can solve it. Okay. 
I'll go here because there's a blue thing that tells me to go here, so that seems like a right way to go. Right? Or maybe not? I don't know. I feel like I left the area. I'm just following the blue things. Let's go up the stairs. If I can find the stairs. Where are the stairs? Here are the stairs. Go, blue thing! It makes sense. The library of high school is like a dungeon. <laughs> Is it just me or did everybody always have like a librarian and their school was like really weird? Professor's Lounge. Oh, here's the the portrait. It's like sparkling too, so you, there's even a key like sticking out of it. There's something behind this portrait. It's a safe. 1605 ET. It wasn't you, my life here is a total crackpot. The doll in the safe since you're missing a number. You want to figure it out before you crack the code. So which number should replace the question mark? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You think eight, right? That seems too obvious. But I still say eight. Hey Ryan, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, I mentioned this is a uh, very hairy version of Stu's Game Reviews live stream. Alright, let's play again. Now we're ready to figure out the right code. This safe won't open itself, so get to it. Is it always idiots with their fingers up in the picture? Oh, this one has a 1, this one has a 5, this one has a 2. So is it 1, 5, 2? Wow! Well, the code was right in front of you all along! Yuck, yuck! Hit on the gesture, like, that's a genius. Like, put the code right there. If, you, if you're trying to lock a safe, definitely you should put the code in front of you in plain sight. It's just a great idea. Ryan says, dude looks like a real man. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. Definitely, I've gotten wonderful reviews from all the ladies. The key for the mechanism. Alright, let's take the key. Let's get out of here. Back the way I came. What are these people saying? Yeah, he was so cute. I'll crack any puzzle, you hear? Daily puzzle, piece of cupcake. I want a cupcake. Can I have a cupcake? Uh, let me in. Quilted oranges, that was the easiest safe ever. Yeah, I tend to agree. Alright, here's the lock. Use key, why not? Now let's pull the lever or something, I guess. A lever! What does it do? Use lever or later? I, I definitely think we should do later, right? There's no reason to use the lever now. I'd be mean, like, what's the point of that? Why would I want to pull a lever? I don't know. Sam, Sam, you did it! You can reach the object now! Solve it! It's going to be one of those super hard objects again. The ones with the rotating uh, three-dimensional puzzle. Solve puzzle an hour later. Oh, I went the wrong way. The steps are over here. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. There it is. How do I get there? Walk around furniture. I have to solve this. He's gonna like solve object later. You know what? Like I think I have, I haven't diet Pepsi for a while, so like I think I'm gonna have some diet Pepsi, you know, maybe, and just like uh, maybe a little bit later I'll solve the puzzle. What do you guys think? Later? Later now? Eh, I guess now. <laughs> Mysterious object. Or we learn we can rotate this. It's a total drinking game. <laughs> Good man, Coke is evil. It's funny, I bought a whole bunch of Pepsi. My wife bought a whole bunch of Coke. So I got both to drink now. But right now I'm on Pepsi. Where does this stupid piece go? I hate these, these 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 parts of the game. It's like it's so boring. It's like 
There's no, there's no intelligence required here. It's just a matter of, like, finding the right place for it to go. I mean, very little intelligence. I reached the game as two plays a drinking game. I gotta play soft porn adventure, Rye, that you uh, you were asking about. I'll do that at some point. Honestly, I haven't drank pop since I was 16. Wow. That's pretty good. What's healthier? Pop is not really good for you, or as we call it here, soda. But uh, it's really garbage. But it's one of my vices. One of my many vices. <laughs> there we go. Now it's gonna like go out and then go back together and then go out again like it does every time. I don't know why. You did it, Sam! Look at the bars! What are they doing? They're like just deteriorating? Whoa. What the hell? Alright. Good job, students! With naked Roberta Williams on the cover. Yeah, well, not naked. She's just topless in a hot tub, but you can't really see anything. This is an emergency drill organized refresher. John and the Nuff, the Nuff, the Fen. You liar. She's trying to make Spiel not be scared. What's the point of that? Yeah, great. Da 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 da. Okay, don't don't panic, everybody. There's only some crazy stuff going on here. Smooth, Dom, smooth. Sam, I saw you save Ramona back there. I did. Oh, okay. I guess I saved everybody. Ramona was one of them. Cause now I did it back in the. All right, I'm in the library, I guess. Cornelius. Cornelius reminds me of that guy from Planet of the Apes. Wasn't there a guy Planet of the Apes? Cornelius, or one of the apes. I think you want to see Stu's club skills in what, softball adventure? <laughs> Sandy. Where am I going? Tucker. Man, if I see one more puzzle, yeah, I can, I can sort of identify with that. Oh, okay. I mean, I've played that game before. Actually, I found a bug in it, and I had to correspond with the author of the game. There's a bug in softball adventure, but it's not a major bug. And then he told me he'd send me something, which he didn't. Uh, here we go. Go to bed again. I, I still can't get over the fact that the male dormitory has a big, like, male sign on it. That's, like, so uncool. Like, I don't know if it's, like, uncool or loserish or both, but, like, I would not be in a dormitory with a big male sign on it, I hate to tell you. I'd rather be in the female dormitory. <laughs> We've been waiting for you? Okay, why are you waiting for me? I don't know why I, don't know why, why I went here, but okay. Oh, this is where we found that dude before. All cleared up. Octavia must have cleaned it all up. Let's scavenge the place. Maybe they missed something. Oh, I don't have a blue thing. How much is the fire thing without a blue diamond telling me where to go? I'm not used to this. I've only been playing games for the last couple of years without a blue diamond. I don't know what to do. Oh no, what are you going to do now? <laughs> this is not fair. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, chimney door. What's this? They still pointed it out to me. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's a picture. Found something? Yeah, well, it sort of highlighted it for me. Ed must have left those for us. If you say so. Put that symbol. What symbol? A star with four dots. Left the note. The star will guide you to the past and present collide. It reminds me of you don't know Jack. Time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Perhaps a hit where should we go next? Listen, I only go where the blue diamond tells me to go. I don't go anywhere else. What are we looking for? Yeah, see? Here. Hey, Blue Diamond, my friend. You're back. I knew you would desert me. You told me to go to my room and go to sleep at 12, 11 a.m.? 
No problem, Blue Diamond. Whatever you say. You make me feel so safe and warm and comfy and cozy. I'll do anything you tell me to do. You're like me when I play games. Just follow the waypoint. So if they're gonna if they're gonna be so lazy to give you a waypoint, then why shouldn't I follow it? Good luck, Ruby. I mean, like it's just lazy game design. So like, I'll be a lazy player if they're gonna be lazy game designers. It's fine with me. Final exams today. Oh, <laughs> Stu has lost it. Oh my gosh, can I handle this final exam? Well, let's see. If it's a puzzle, I think I'll do all right. If it's some question about something I've been reading about in my textbooks, then I'm definitely going to fail. What now? It's a puzzle to figure out where I sit, I bet you. Oh my god, who cares? First, let's wrap up the year. Let's find our seats. Seating schedule. Oh, my seat is number two. There we go. Let's go to the quest update. Go sit your butt down at seat number two. It's a hard quest. History exam is first. Uh oh. I don't see a puzzle icon. <laughs> I'm going to fail for sure. If this is stuff about stuff we learned, then I, then I have no chance. It's probably what it is, so. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just an interactive cutscene. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Okay, it is a puzzle. Thank goodness. <laughs> Dandelion. This is a great history class, isn't it? How many seeds are produced by a single flower head of the picture dandelion plant? Select a range. What? <laughs> uh, it looks like t 10 to 20, right? Each of these is a seed, maybe? Or... Is this something I was I'm supposed to know in my class? Does anybody know? I mean, it looks like 10 to 20. If I get these wrong, do I get to try again? Or is this like, I, I have no chance? I'm going to say 10 to 20. So nobody else seems to have a better idea. I can do get to try again at least. It's, it's a nice test for like if you get it wrong, let you try again. Um, all right, it's probably some bigger number there. Let's try fifty to one hundred to two hundred. All right, still got a ninety. That cross section view is all you need to estimate the range, if you say so. Let's try the bonus question. This neighborhood is famous for its golden dandelion fields. One of the houses was built fairly recently. Which one? I think this one, because it doesn't have a huge amount of green stuff surrounding it. Jeremy and Club Northern both said you 50 to 200, but that was after I did it, unfortunately. Sorry about that. The one with the brown roof. I think the old brown roofs. Time is up. Pencils down. Oh, snacks. Snacks. Yeah, give us some chocolate. I don't want to ask Octavia or whatever. I want... Oh, it's not telling me to go that way, but I want to go to the atrium. I want freaking chocolate. Give me snacks. I don't see chocolate, though. I see, like, cake. And custard and stuff. The There's no chocolate. Where's the chocolate? I don't understand this game at all. Old newspaper? There's a puzzle in it? <laughs> I totally push that ginger kid in his lock. Well, I'll do this to be a puzzle. Oh, it's like I'm supposed to do these puzzles every single day and I didn't. Okay, how's this a puzzle? 
Oh, okay. Oh, it's one of these dumb things. Where we saw one of them at the very beginning of the game, and then we stopped doing it. Place the numbers in the empty field with the following rules. No identical numbers in the same column or row. A field is illuminated by a candle in its row or column if there's no higher number of field between them. Uh, if each candle field indicates exactly how many fields must not be illuminated. What? What? Who's involved in this game? Old Moldy Fort. What the hell are they talking about here? I don't see anything. Uh, what does this mean? Each candle field indicates how many fields should... The candle fields are just freaking like... There's a circle here, that's it. I don't know what this means. The hell with this crap. I'm out of here. Sorry, dumb paper. I just wanted like a, a chocolate, but I guess it's too much to ask. No chocolate anywhere here. Ah, oh, here we go. Food, food. What the heck? This game makes no sense. You know, in the, in the um, what's it called? Professor Layton game, every time you solve a puzzle, you get, like, more... Or, you, it's not such true, in the environment, you find more of those hint coins. And here it's just, like, you can't get more of that chocolate no matter what you do. Wine. <laughs> All right, fine, I'll get some wine. That's a good idea. Here, give me wine. Give me wine. Food. Even the wine's not food. Rose wine. Rosé wine. Oh, it's not alcohol, of course. It's not wine. Give me grape juice, you loser. <sighs> I'm wasting my time here. Go back to your desk, dummy, and just do your dumb test already. <sighs> yeah, I agree. FFS. <laughs> Come on. Stupid. Triangles are carved in the statue at seemingly random spots. If you observe them carefully, you might observe there is some kind of order in this madness. There is just one triangle that is an exception. Which one is it? I have no idea. They're all triangles. And the next part's gonna be which of these which of these symbols goes next, which I also have no idea. Um, does anyone have any clue? Which triangle is an exception? I mean, the Jennifer says the Atum left. I should be the bottom left. I think the the bottom left. See, these two both look wrong, but they're both pointing in the same direction, at least. These three are the ones that are all like. Well, this one's the same as these two. These two are different. Jeremy says bottom right. All right, so let's try the first bottom left. That is incorrect. Let's try bottom right. Jeremy was correct. Each triangle seems to be pointing toward another triangle. I, I thought of that too, but it didn't seem right to me. Colton Northern, we will ignore your, your incorrect guess because you didn't know that, that was wrong. Strange symbols are etched to the statue. The fourth got worn out with time. Yeah, of course. Oh, this one actually I do know the answer to. It's the one that looks like... So this is like a... These are ones, these are twos, these are threes. So it'll be the one that looks like interlocking fours, which I guess would be this one, right? Is that a four? Like a backwards four, maybe? I think it's supposed to be this one. None of the other ones look like fours to me. This is, this is a four? I don't think so. I think it's this one. Right? Are these fours? I 
I guess those are not fours. Are these fours? Top right looks like a four. Oh, you're right. A little bit. When you cover it like this, it does. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I got the idea, but I didn't. I didn't really figure out which one looked like two fours. All right, we got ninety percent of the test. It's not too bad for a final exam. Time's up for some of you. That means your time here as well. The waiting game. <laughs> I'm sure, you'll, I'm sure you'll enjoy your peeing this semester next year. That's nice. so nice. What a nice professor. You know what? That was so intense. Let's take a walk. All right. Time's up. Go drink wine. Jefferson's my one win for the day. <laughs> Why is there an X on the wall there behind us? I'm going to talk about Ed Symbol. Da, 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 da. That's like staring us in the face. Look! I just said it's like right behind them on the wall. Oh my god! That just happened? It's just a wall, right? No, it's not! Start it. Start what? Let's finish up the exam. Okay, let's finish up the exam. Go finish up the dumb exam. Get out of my way! Get out of my way! I'm going to take my test. You get out of my way. I love tests. I'm the biggest nerd here. Machines exam. These are like the easiest finals I ever took, by the way. I wish all finals were this easy. Just like two couple of questions, that's it. Oh, here's Professor John and then and then and then. Come on. Warehouse. The warehouse staff was strapped for time while taking inventory, so only managed to take a glance at the front and side view of these boxes. This is the front view and this is the side view. What is the largest number of boxes that you could possibly have? Huh? The largest number of boxes they could possibly have. Okay. That would be... Basically... This would be, let's say, the first row. The first, um, the first slice would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then you could have 3 on the bottom here. That would be 10. Jennifer says 15, but I'm still counting. And then I think you could have 16, actually. I'm going to say 16. Because I think you could have 7 here, 3 in the next row would be 10, and then you could have 2 stacks of 3 in the back. I think. To make 16. But I'm wrong! So maybe it was 15. Jennifer says 15. Let me think about this again. I feel like this is one of the problems I was to get. Oh, wait a second. I'm totally... It makes, I, I, when I said makes no sense, because there's only two here, it's actually 14, I think. I'm going to change my answer to 14 now. I think. I say 14 now. Yeah, I forgot about the gap in the middle. All right, I'm going, to try, I'm going to your 15. You were right. All right, well, I completely got it wrong. Oops. Let's try the bonus question. The front view boxes spell out the letter U. This is just a solid box as such as... You should see our warehouse staff screwed up. Fix it. This is just a solid box such as these. You also access the see-through glass boxes. How many boxes do you need to spell the letter H? The hell is that mean? What? I have no idea what that even means. 
And the letter H you can spell just with this, this, the boxes that are here, the seven boxes, right? I mean, like... Oh, I guess. Can I put a see-through glass box underneath this one? So that it'll be eight? Maybe? Uh, I'm totally confused now. That's not good letter H. Would that be letter H if I had this one over here and a see-through glass box underneath it? Seven? But then, what's well, the thing about the see-through glass boxes? I'm really confused. Oh, you don't need those glass boxes at all. You spell it from the top view. I guess I was just a red herring then. Alright, well, that's, that was very confusing, but okay. I still did okay on this test. Thanks, guys, for sticking with me and helping me out because clearly I'm falling apart here. But hopefully this game is almost over. And we'll find out what happens. Oh, man, why don't we just go in there? Because I don't want to do it while it's daytime now. You're welcome for my educated guest. Well, it was helpful. What must I do now? Go back in here? I can go to sleep until nighttime? Is that the idea? Stupid. Come on, man. This game should be over already. I should have to, like, go purposely go to sleep to advance time. <gasps> What's going on? Sam, don't be mad at me. I couldn't sleep all night. I later to lie down and fell asleep. So I broke when I was sleeping to those objects from your shelf. Oh, wonderful. Can you find more of those things? Maybe you can order them online. <laughs> I don't know if Ryan's still here, but this is when this guy would go into the locker. Oh, man. All right, whatever. I'm just going to sleep anyway, because I don't care. <laughs> Something's happening. Maybe now... We'll... Oh, man. It's lightning and stuff. Maybe we'll finally get to the thrilling conclusion of this game. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Can we stop? There you go. It's my friends. Someone stole the objects. Oh my gosh. Chloe, we got work to do. It's time to penetrate Lord Voldemort's lair. Once and for all. Here's the door mechanism. Where the past and present will collide. Use the mechanism. All right, let's do it. Jeremy says, how helpful. I'll help you with the mess I made. Not stopping other robbers who stole your things. I'm tired. It's like, what a pen. Okay, if you rotate one of the symbols, you will come to the same symbol before going full circle. Which symbol can't do that? This one, because the spike is missing. What? What? How is that wrong? If you rotate one of those, you come to the same symbol before going full circle. This won't be the same without going full circle. What the hell are they talking about? Does anybody know what they're talking about? I mean, this obviously will come to the same symbol earlier. Colton Northern says D. Yeah, but I'll try it. It doesn't make any sense, though. Oh, this. That's that's wrong. I'm sorry. That's wrong. I don't agree with that answer. It's under, I'm under protest for that one. All right. There are many occult orders, but what is the correct order here? A, B, C, D, of course. Um, 
I mean, this looks like one, two, three, four to me. This is sort of two also, but I would say CBDA. One card, two trees. I mean, there's two guys on the one card. It wasn't even one card. They're all one card. It's so stupid. A bunch of geniuses made this game. It's pretty obvious. All right, who cares? Let's just we'll get in. Something's happening. Turn into a circle. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh. <gasps> there's gears. They're turning. Something's going to happen. <gasps> There's a picture of a tree on it! The doors are opening! I can't stand the excitement! <gasps> Something's happening to the whole place. <gasps> Where do these guys come from? A bunch of monks all of a sudden are there behind us. Do we, I don't think we see them, though. I don't, do you even notice there's like monks behind you? Turn around. What about these guys behind you? Well, they're not there now the heck? Alright, whatever. Let's go in here. Go in there. Oh, you gotta press a button. Okay. Go below or not yet. Let's go below. DCAB sounds like a cult. <laughs> My god, this is scary. It's so cold and eerie. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go on. I'm gonna get my stuff together here. We're gonna beat this game. Let's go. Run through the dark hallways. <gasps> What's this? Were we in this place before? Oh, this is, this is a different crypt or whatever. It is I, Lord Voldemort. The objects, they're here. One of those pedestals is empty, though. Does that mean there's another object we have to find? Is that a statue of Lady Holloway? Let's look around. Once again, I do not have a blue diamond. Wrong, it's moldy for it. <laughs> the last time there was something on the back of the pedestal here. Let's see. Oh, not this time. The Academy. What's that? It's like a bite taken out of that pillar. Nothing there, though. Help me uh, take a bite out of pillar. What's this? Is this where I came from? I don't think so. Lever. Use it. I opened up a jail cell. Let's go in there. There's some stuff here. The end is coming. Be vigilant. Morgue Tua. I definitely agree with the Morgue Tua. I've been saying that for a long time to people, and people don't listen to me when I tell them Morgue Tua. But, you know. Come on, move. Get out of here. Let's open up the other one. <gasps> Someone's in that jail cell. It's Professor Doofenshmirtz. Our student, what are you doing here? Get out before it's too late, says Wilson. Why does he have the two L's in his name? Why can't he be normal spelling Wilson? It's Professor Wilson who disappeared on day one. Oh, he, he, actually, he called it with one L. And this guy has two L's over here. Children, listen to me. You have to get out of here right now. So calm down, Professor. Come on, Shaggy. Open up the lever. See if it does anything. Oh, Zoinks! I don't know! Oh, come on. Let's open the lever. Jinkies! Okay, he walks out. Look at that little shuffle. I'm beyond grateful for your help, even though I told you to leave. We're friends with your nephew, sir. Ed, where is he? Is he safe? Not sure. We just met him ourselves, but he disappeared. Ed, what have you done? No! Blah, 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 Come on, let's go. What do you know about the alumni? They're the people that they always ask to give money to school, right? They're the ones behind my abduction. A group of former students. Fanatics, fixing and obsessed the life and work of its founder. Baron Holloway? Oh, this is so dumb. This is like the stupidest, like honestly, this is like the stupidest story I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> to bring back the Baron with them. Okay. 
fragments. Someone's coming. Hide inside the jail cell. <gasps> it's Octavia. She's behind this. I knew it, Octavia. Yeah, you saw them hanging down. I told you there were some guys behind me. Find the last fragment. It's in my bag. How do you have the? How did you have the last fragment? I asked you for the object. Who used the best at solving them? Of course, that's me. See that door in the back? You have to go get help. This happens in, in like Harry Potter. Also, they always tell like the other two kids to go ahead and get help, and then Harry Potter should stay behind and fight Voldemort by himself. All right, find Wilson. I'll do what you say. Things like. Do, 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 do. Octavia! <gasps> what are you doing out? You two, subdue them! I know I can't use my fist. I'm the biggest wimp in the, here in the, in the world, apparently. What do you guys think of this game? Isn't it wonderful? Sam is the man who solved all of them. You asked me him. Alright, let's do it now. I don't know what, what the hell I'm doing here, but alright. Do I do another puzzle? Okay. I'll do it. Why not? The final object seems different. What did Wilson do? It's like Dennis the Menace and Wilson. And Cardi Leviosa. This one is a green center. I mean... Honestly, like... Jeremy, what you, this game really sucks, doesn't it? I, mean, <laughs> I want to see what happens at the end, but this is not a very good game. What can I... What can't I put this piece in? There we go. And, like, what can't these other idiots solve this? I mean, this is, like... This doesn't require, like, a rocket scientist to solve these puzzles. Jennifer Quilted Northern, are you guys still there? What do you guys think about this? I was right in the right place. Come on. He put like a green thing inside there or something. I don't know. Still here. It's an okay game. Curious about the side quest. I am sort of curious a little bit too, but like, it was too. There's no like clear reward for anything you do, so. I think your commentary is better than the story. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Detective Dumbass in his rear FMV face. Yeah, that game was much worse, I agree. That game was worse than this one. Recently, I had somebody comment on a, a couple of my streams. Uh, the developer... We were into that game a long time ago. You, you guys may not remember, but I did a game a long time ago where a guy comes home after being away from ha his home for like several years and now ever speaking to his wife. And then he comes home and he finds his wife is missing and then it turns out she's like sleeping with Satan or something. It was a really crazy game that made no sense at all. The whole time I was saying it made no sense. The developer of that game commented on the stream the other day and was like, I made that game in college and like, I can't believe you actually sat through the whole thing. <laughs> it's like something like that. This rivals applies at long last. Old Neil and greeted with glee. It's not going to be barren. It's going to be... Voldemort. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so exciting! <gasps> Look at this! What's gonna happen? It's more gears! Oh no! Can't believe it! It's actually happening! He's coming back to life! I mean, if this, in, any, in any movie, by the way, it would actually happen now. He would come back to life, and the first action he would do is kill Octavia and these two guys with the red. 
and then you'd be next, basically, unless you figure out how to stop him. But even in the game, that's what would happen. Bow down, and be like, it looks like Ed is in there, by the way. But if it was actually like this guy, he would definitely kill them. Oh, I can skip a cutscene now? I don't want to skip this. Oh, you got one of these watercolor things again. Yeah, it's Ed. Isn't that Ed? So now it's Ed. It's not Baron Holloway. It's Ed. Hey there, Ed. Ha ha ha, I tricked you. Somehow. I don't know what he did, but... You... Stupid! <laughs> this scene is giving you two Raider vibes. Oh, he's getting sucked back in. Oh, I saved Ed! Now he's struggling over something! <laughs> Rocks fell on their head! No! Not Octavia and Mr. Wilson! Now they're running out. What the hell happened? Colton Northern, are you still sorry that I missed the side quest? Because I'm sure they, were, they would have explained the whole thing. What was it the anime? You know, the animation of the cutscene is way worse than the animation of the rest of the game. Ed, it really is you. Where have you been for the past year? Where's Professor Wilson? What happened down there? After the fragments all at once, was to create a portal. That's how I came back from where I got sucked into. You need to recalibrate them so they only bring back who was already inside. Before the fragments decimate everything, before anyone else returned, you removed one of them. Where is he now? There's all this debris. And we'd be crushed and we stayed even a second longer. We the two that were fight I know it's debris, by the way. The two that were fighting were the fragment. Sam dragged us out before we got trapped in. We couldn't help him. I don't know if he made it out or not. The door reached it out, so it caved in and destroyed. Then you're down there somewhere. Ed, he must have found a way out. Your uncle's brilliant. If anyone could escape, it's him. Now the weeds ones have to escape before someone finds us here. Why? The press is already here. Hold on just one minute. Dominic, a portal, Octavia, and Wilson? What exactly is going on here? Come on, Dad, let's go. Congratulations, class of 501. Is that the year? Five, year 501? Or is there 501 people in the class? Seems pretty quiet. It got very quiet. The music stopped, even. Thing is far from over. You check your exam results. Congratulations, Dom, and you too, Sam. What? Let's check out my exam results. Oh my god. Exam results in a puzzle. <laughs> god, okay, whatever. <laughs> Expelling Leviosa. Dear student, while you're sure you're equal to you your final exam score, this academy is reputation to uphold. Thus, you must discover your score through the means of logic. I mean... How come Dom is not on here? It looks like I got 80, right? Because... I don't know what this means, but... Looks like the number of checks... Well, actually, this person got a 70, even though she has three checks. Maybe fourth is worth... I don't know. Anybody know here? We pull up on six hand results for your back and you drink. Uh, I mean, I thought each of these were worth 20, but this person on the bottom got 70 somehow. So maybe this middle one's worth more than 20? Okay, the, the good thing is the, the least I got is 80. I got at least 80. Maybe I got 120 even somehow. I don't know how. Jennifer says, yeah, give me a sec. You wrote an A with an Oxalt Grave on it somehow. You must be using your French keyboard. Give me a sec. Uh, I, I don't know what this means. First, second, third. Maybe first is worth more than, than the other ones are. Oh, well, let's see. Tucker got 40. And this is 60, so this third one must be worth 20. Right? So that means these two together without the 20 is worth um, 50. And these two is 40, so I'll say 90. Alright, 
I got 90. Not bad. Oh, a bonus question. Can I get more points? The students on this list are ordered a certain way, but it seems a mistake has been made. Fortunately, we can order it with one swap. Which students would you swap to correct the ordering? I don't know. By the way, Annie looks like she flunked out of school, unfortunately. Sorry, Annie. Uh, which two students? Uh, I don't know. Something with the names, maybe? That spell something? Like kiss my tuchus or something? <laughs> I don't know. It says spells out Sam. Uh, what's the name of the school again? It's like the Academy, right? So it can't be that. Is it the scores? If it's the scores, I don't think you could swap it with just with just two people. Yeah, you didn't get her good. Yeah, no kidding. Anybody have any idea? This is something I feel like we should be able to figure out. I think there's only four or five people still on the stream. Some people are not going to see the end the end of the game, which is very disappointing. I'm sure once you, you miss it, you're going to be like, whoever, whoever couldn't stay on this long is going to be like, I can't believe I missed the end of the game. Uh, six, eight. We know this is supposed to be 90 here. Does that help with anything? Not really. Scott isn't a food coma. He probably is. Um, we can nice string the X's if this one was at the bottom. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Anybody know? Everybody's quiet. I feel like I say do with the letters over here. But I don't know what. I right, maybe I'm wrong, but that's what that's my gut feeling is telling me. Annie, like, could be anywhere, pretty much, because I mean, of all these X's. How come Dob is not even on here? Ellis. So, sort of, well, uh, everybody's symmetrical except for Ellis. But this probably doesn't mean anything. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. Woo. I'm just gonna bug out of here if nobody knows. It seems like we don't have to do, we don't have to solve this puzzle anyway, so let's just go back to the game. Tie with Kai in second place. I guess Dom is the smartest one. Blah blah, okay, whatever, who cares? Look at them dancing. I flunked out of school, woohoo! We got the five teachers here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably to say at the end, like, you got like a 30% of this game because you skipped everything. The bus has arrived. Looks like it's packing into the summer. Cabbies, your home, you your way. Finish packing? Seriously? Gotta <laughs> pack? Alright, whatever. This game must be almost over. This game must be almost over. It must be almost over. Oh my god. I have to help him pack now? No. Luggage. Packing is a puzzle. You're right, Jeremy. God damn it. Alright, your time with the academy is drawing to close. And it gives one last puzzle to solve. 
Items can only be inserted in the suitcase at the top, and you must dislocate the other items. Your goal is to fully pack the suitcase. So what is the order in which you must insert these items? Why don't they, like, let me actually move them around instead of making me have to, like, figure out and guess it? Like, I don't... I can't do without seeing it. I mean, like... Seriously, this is like BS. That B is you one of the first things that goes in. I mean the C too. Right? D B A C D B C A? I don't know. C D B A you think A would be last. Yeah, I agree. D would go in the bottom right corner, but, like... I think A is to go in last. So I'm going to say the one that has A last, which is this one. You have to rotate some of them, if you say so. Alright, let's try the bonus question. One of the items pictured simply could not fit into the suitcase, no matter how hard you try. How is that possible? If before you said it only will fit in. It's like the clock. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not the clock. I think Tetris or Doctor Brain. Yeah, Jennifer, I agree with you. Uh, which one cannot fit into the suitcase? How come they're able to fit before and they can't fit now? The plant. I guess it has to be one of these. Doesn't make any, this makes no sense. It can't be any of those, right? Because we said before they were only able to fit. This pen in the front, over here in the front? So stupid. Oh, the table? That's the table? Oh, I bet the. F I was trying to get the pen. Alright, whatever. Stupid. <laughs> Plant. Are you done, Sam? Yeah, I'm done. Class picture? God, they're trying to stretch this game out so long. How come everybody's like making dumb, like, like gesticulations or the picture? Alright, are we almost done with this stupid game? Come on. I want to finish the game! Maybe like at the end it'll be like, <laughs> watch your packet table. And then at the end it'll be like, hey Sam, we got some chocolate, you want some? And then they like freeze frame, like, you know, like, the like, gold, like, or something stupid like that. That's how I would end the game. We finally found the chocolate! Look at that bus. Look at the fakest looking bus ever. Oh, it's Ed. Are you heading Clay back to school? Always oh, look for his uncle. Alright. Come on. Summer, summer, summer. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, what would I do? I think I said it was a choice. I got out of the bus. See you next year. Bye, losers. Yeah, I agree. Bye, losers. I think that's the developers talking to all the people playing the game where they say, bye, losers. Bye, mentee. You were such a great mentor to me, Amy. You know, I forgot how good a good mentor you were. I don't think I could have gotten through this game without you as my mentor. Stupid moron. Does anyone see Tucker? Here he comes. I have to eat some donuts on the way out. Come on, Tuck. <laughs> it's not over yet? Look how fake that bus looks. There they go. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, wait, that's Mr. Wilson. Uh, Anna, we still haven't found any of it. What shall we do? Don't stop until you find them. <laughs> oh, credits. All right, well, that's the end of the Academy, the first riddle. 
And honestly, you know you said the other game with the guy was worse? I think I disagree. I think this game was worse. You know why? Because the other game it was stupid and the, and the puzzles were stupid and it made no sense. But at least it was entertaining. And this game was boring as hell! I'm sorry. The puzzles were okay. The Academy of the Forest puzzles. But I was skipping all the dialogue. Even I was reading it. I read pretty fast. But like... All the, the story was so stupid and boring. And all the characters are boring. And everything about it was boring. It was just like... Ugh! So... When I'm... You just salty and find more chocolate. You know what? I'm going to go upstairs and have some more chocolate right now, Quilted Northern. But I am a little bit annoyed about that, to be honest. That also didn't make any sense at all. But, like, what was the point of that game? I think the lesson I'm learning from this is, like, I feel like I'm going to play less new games on the channel and more, like, older games because I'm just... I was just fed up with this, honestly. Like, I don't know. Like, it was okay... I wanted to get to the end. I wanted to see the end. But the end was so underwhelming. Like, my gosh. Like, it, it couldn't have been less... Like, it couldn't have been more predictable. Don't buy $10 games. That's the lesson. Yeah, I think the retail price of this game was like $20. And I waited until it went on sale and I paid like $10 for it. But gosh, like... Oh, my goodness. And I got nothing to show for... Oh, wait, there's a, a post credit scene here. <gasps> What's this going on? Oh my gosh. Meanwhile, in China. How far underneath are we going? Oh my gosh, the computer down there. Holy cow, look at this. Level 9 is 500. It's the portal. Artificial intelligence. Galados. Oh my gosh. They're drilling into a hole! Into the object! My goodness! What the heck? Whoa! Oh my gosh! I take back everything I said about this game! Oh my gosh, that end credit scene. <laughs> that just blew me away. Oh my goodness. Everything is revealed now. Everything makes sense. The whole thing makes sense. Nah, it's still a little, like a really stupid, boring game. <laughs> Jarvis says, now you have to remake them all. Jarvis says, chloroform required. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. All right, well, it was like somewhat entertaining. You guys stuck around. I appreciate it. And I really appreciate the help with the puzzles. Even the guessing. The guessing was very helpful. I'm, I enjoyed doing the puzzles. The ones that made sense. Which is only about, I think, maybe 60% of them. 40% of the puzzles were completely ridiculous. But the 60% of the puzzles that made sense, I did enjoy. The story, honestly, was really, 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 really stupid. Like... And this picture, by the way, sucks too. Look at him. He looks okay. She looks okay. What's with him? He doesn't look like Dom. And why is he holding a wrench? Is he about to like smash you over the head with it or something? I have no idea what this what this picture has to do with the game. But regardless, like, I'm glad we finished it. If a sequel comes out, probably I will not play it because this was not a very good game. But thank you guys for sticking through it. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Quilted Northern. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Ryan, who was here before. Thank you, other regulars who are watching this after the fact. By the way, this stream had two likes. Now it has zero likes, so I guess two people unliked it. I don't know. But hit like. Why are you saying careful, Jeremy? What did I do? The developer might comment. <laughs> You're right, the developer might comment. Listen, I, I can't help it. The game was just boring. I, you know, they, they say that, like, it's better to be bad than to be boring. Being boring is the worst sin that a game or a movie or a book can commit. If it's bad, it can still be entertaining. But boring is not a forgivable sin. It's inexcusable, basically. So, I know they tried. Obviously, they tried. I did like the puzzles, some of them. But the game itself was, was just not, not for me. Let's put it that way. 
But nevertheless, hit like. If you like the game, hit like. If you liked me, if you like my commentary, hit like also because I struggled through this game and I got through it for you, the viewer. And then, you know, if you're not subscribed already, I promise I won't do another game like this. I'll do better games going forward. So please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> Subscribe, you know, it'll be better going forward. Jeremy says, I find it boring too. Too much force puzzles, too little exploring. Completely agree. All right, folks, have a great evening. We'll do this again soon with a better game. I promise. I really promise a better game next time. Have a good night and uh, peace out, everybody. Thanks, everybody, who's participating. Talk to you folks later. Bye-bye.